Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you the 2022 Hyundai Sonata. This one is the SEL Plus for 2022. Nothing was changed, but I'm going to go ahead and show you all the features this 2022 Sonata has. Under the hood there's going to be a 1.6 turbocharged four-cylinder engine that is connected to an 8-speed automatic transmission. This engine produces 180 horses and 195 pound-feet of torque. Fuel economy numbers on this engine, 27 in the city, 37 highway, and 31 combined. Here is the MSRP sticker of this 2022 Sonata SEL Plus. If you guys are interested in the standard feature this one has, just go ahead and pause the video. And the price on this one is 32000 If you guys are curious about the color, the color is called Phantom Black, and it does look very nice and sharp on this Sonata SEL Plus. And... I love the rims on this Sonata. If you get the SEL Plus, you're going to get those rims, and those rims honestly look amazing. Coming to the front, I love the way how this Sonata looks like. A lot of people said that it does look like a catfish, and it does, but I really like the design, and I think Hyundai did a great with the grill, the headlights, the daytime running lights, because for the daytime running light, it does actually go all the way up, and it stops right there so when it's off it does look like it's a chrome piece or a chrome trim right there this is going to be chrome but this is going to be a light and seriously this thing looks very very nice and sharp and you could tell that this is a sonata coming from far away at night for the turn signal indicators they are going to be right underneath the high and low beam and everything is going to be led right here in the front and the high and low beam are sitting in reflectors the grill is going to be finished in gloss black and the Hyundai badge has a sensor inside of it for the safety features the braking assist and seriously guys I love the way how this Sonata looks like this gloss black grill looks really really nice and on the side they're going to be a side vent and this and the bottom is going to be functional. Here is a side view of this Hyundai Sonata and with this black color, you're not gonna be able to see the sharp lines this Sonata has, but there is a ton of sharp lines on the uh, Sonata. I love the way how this thing looks like from the side. It does have some chrome around the windows, so the window trims are going to be finished in chrome. The mirror is going to be finished in the same color as the car and it does have blind spot monitoring system and it does have a turn signal indicator. And I believe for 2022, the panoramic sunroof on the SEL Plus is standard on the 21. I believe it was part of a package because there is an SEL Plus 21. Um, it does have panoramic sunroof, but it is part of a package. This 2022, it doesn't really say anything on the sticker, so I believe the panoramic sunroof is standard on the uh, SEL Plus. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the 22 does it isn't available on Hyundai's website yet, so I don't know. And for the rims, I think the design of those rims are amazing. I think Hyundai did uh, good with the rim design on this SEL Plus. And the size is going to be 245, 4019, and they are finished in black and chrome. Here is the back of this 22 Sonata, and as I said, nothing was changed for 22. And I love the design of the Sonata from the back. This is going to be functional, so that strip in the back is going to be functional. It does light up, and I think it does look good. And the top portion of the taillights, they're going to be blacked out, and I really like the design of those uh, fins. Basically, they mimic the shark fin antenna. And they're going to be a 1.6 turbo badge on the right. Nothing on the left. Sonata is going to be written right underneath that LED strip and the Hyundai badge is going to be of course in the center. It does have of course the backup camera right here and this is going to be a button so you click on it and the trunk opens which I think is amazing. For the tail lights only the running light here in the back is going to be LED. The brake light and the turn signal indicators and everything is going to be halogen. In the bottom this is going to be finished in gloss black 
So if you get like another color, this portion right here is going to be gloss black and does have the reverse in the bottom reflector next to it. And it does have an exhaust tip all the way to the right. And that exhaust tip is actually connected to the exhaust pipe. And I really love the diffuser on this Sonata. Here is a key. Feels nice and light and very nice and solid at the same time. It does have five binds on it, lock, unlock, remote start, trunk release, and a panic bind to remote start the uh, Sonata, lock it once, and then hold down the remote start button. And the car is on now. To open the trunk, there are going to be three ways, one on the key, one right there on the Hyundai badge, and one inside. So let me go ahead and show you the button on the trunk. So you click on this right here, and the trunk opens all the way up. It is spring-loaded, which is very, very good. Inside there is a ton of space. It is nice and wide. I'm not exactly sure how big the trunk is. I'll go ahead and put that in the bottom left of the screen. And right underneath, they're going to be the spare tire with the jack and the jack tools. Here is the door handle. It does have a good amount of chrome on the top portion and the bottom is going to be black. It does have a sensor right behind it. That's how you unlock the car and to lock it, there's going to be a sensor right here. Just go ahead and tap on it and that will take care of locking the car. Here is a front door panel and it does have an okay design to it, but it is finished in gray, which is really nice. It does have brushed aluminum right here. The door handle feels very light, but it is nice and solid. It does have both sound system and it does have 12 speakers with a nine inch uh, subwoofer and this is going to be nice and soft. This is going to be wrapped in leather, nice and soft. The armrest is very nice and soft. Plastic in the bottom with the reflector. An okay storage place. Window switches, mirror controls, everything looks very nice and high quality. And here is the speaker, it does say Bose on it. And inside, those seats are very comfortable. And by the way, I did drive this Sonata SEL Plus, and those seats are very nice and grippy. In the center, this is going to be Alcantara. Side is going to be wrapped in leather. It does have a ton of red stitching and red piping. Seat controls are going to be in the bottom with lumbar support. But let's go ahead and move inside the Sonata and I'll show you the inside of it. All right, so here is the interior of this 2022 Hyundai Sonata SEL Plus. As I said, for 2022, nothing was changed. Basically, it's just a carryover. The steering wheel looks good. It is finished in gray. It does have a ton of red stitching, and the design, I think, looks very nice. It does have an opening right here in the bottom, which I love, and it does have brushed aluminum. The Hyundai badge is going to be finished in brushed aluminum or almost chrome. And on the left, they're going to be the volume controls, voice command, and uh, phone controls. And on the right, they're going to be the safety features. You'll have the cruise controls, steering assist, adaptive cruise control. This line right here will control the screen in the middle. And this cluster display, or the gauges, they're going to be a 12.3 inch screen. Of course, it's not a touch screen, but it does look good. And the resolution is very, very good. If you change the drive modes, it will basically change. So very, very high res. And on the left, they're going to be the headlight controls with the turn circle controls. This Sonata has paddle shifters. They feel nice and solid. And on the right, they're going to be the wiper controls. And in the bottom, they're going to be the link keep assist, traction control, trunk release bind, e-brake, and brightness controls for the interior of this Sonata. For the screen, I love the design of it. It is finished in gloss black, and it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It does have a volume knob but no two knob and the system itself is nice and responsive and it does have touch sensitive buttons on the left and right you could click on map that will take you to the maps and overall i just love the system here is the backup camera the backup camera resolution is very good it is nice and wide and i love the brushed aluminum on top of the screen and there is across the dash and overall the interior of this Sonata looks good. AC vents look good. They do have brushed aluminum around them. Here is the emergency light bind. It does flash when you activate it. And the climate controls are super easy to use. Here is the temperature controls. And the fan finish is amazing. 
does have a sync feature. Basically, um, you could the passenger could have their own individual temperature, and the driver could have their individual temperature as well. So that's nice. And it does have the fan speed right here. That's the heated seats. It does have three stages, and of course the passenger has heated seats as well. You could change the modes by moving this up and down. And there is an off button. And this SEL Plus has a wireless phone charger, a ton of space, two USBs, and 112 volt. And here is the shifter that will control the eight-speed automatic transmission in this Sonata. Reverse, neutral, drive, and park. It is shift by wire and does have a good amount of gloss black. I think that gloss black looks good. Brushed aluminum on the side two cup holders with a phone holder in the middle. Here is the drive modes. As I said, when you change the drive modes, the gauges change. The animation is a little bit slow or the response is a little bit slow from uh, moving it from sport to smart or to normal. So I really wish it was a little bit faster, but it's no big deal. It does have brake hold. And here is the armrest. It is a little bit on the harder side, but it does have red stitching. And inside there is a good amount of storage place, but there is no 12 volt or light or a USB. And for the rear view mirror, it is nice and almost frameless. It does have very nice thin bezels. Blue Link SOS does have some LED lights. And here is the button to open this panoramic sunroof. This panoramic sunroof actually looks very good. It does bring in a lot of light. And here is the visor. Nice and solid. It does have a light up here. It is halogen and it does have a mirror. It's a good size mirror. Here is a back door panel and it is the same design as the front. And Hyundai did not cheap out here in the back. So this is not plastic. This is nice and soft brushed aluminum just like the front. The door handle feels the same as the front, a little bit lighter. Here is the window switch in the back and the armrest is nice and soft. Plastic in the bottom, which is fine. And it does have a tiny bit of storage place with a speaker. And inside there is a good amount of leg room and headroom. And this is expected in this segment. This Sonata competes against the Camry and the Accord. And I love the fact that the back seats have red stitching and red piping and does have an armrest here in the back nice and soft two cup holders and they're going to be two ac vents one usb and that's how the front of this sonata looks like i hope you guys enjoyed this review of this 2022 hyundai sonata i would like to thank moody and key hyundai in milford connecticut for providing me this 2022 sel plus if you guys are around and if you guys are interested make sure to come check them out i'm going to go ahead and put the information and link at the bottom of this video and if you guys would like to see more videos like this please subscribe and as always I'll see you next time.